see if I am out. for you. Hey! Scott. How you doing? Where are the other young people? You're it. You mean everyone else is old? Everyone else is ancient. Because it disturbs the others. What others? The ones who don't like television. She said you couldn't sleep. No. I said I wasn't tired. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Just take it. Amelia Bancroft, and I'm afraid she's 87. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Not 
Amelia Carruthers Bancroft. Yeah, spy. You're kidding. Do you know her? No, I've just read all about her in the papers, is all. Really? Why? Oh, you're probably supposed to keep it a secret, because the press would probably be all over this place if they knew that the governor's mother was staying here. Really? Yeah. Oh, and Candy, I hear the old lady's addicted to late-night television. Listen. Have a little respect for her privacy, huh? Don't tell this to anybody. Oh, sure, no problem. Showtime. Mm -mm -mm. Pleasant dreams. One more, one more. Uh, <laughs> Lights out, Mike. I know, Ray, but I can't sleep. Even with this weird drug you gave me. You gotta learn to ride the waves, my man. Just go with the flow. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> well, I won't. Just don't let me see you. Stay in your room, Mike. Who's bed? No. There's a call later. Go to bed, boy. What is it? Sarah's. She's been buzzing all night. Why? Because she's a pain in the neck. Hey, man, you're going to deal the car, so what? Okay, okay, okay. Go to bed, Mike. I will. I just got to check on Sarah for a second. Oh, 
almost two hours ago. <laughs> Did you get the job? Yeah, but it's not much more money. Hey, look what I snuck in here. Some homemade cookies. Mom? I want to go home. Bad. I wish I could bring you home. But then do it. Oh, just do it, please, Mom. Mike, we already talked about this. There's no school close enough to Grandma's that you could go to. And I can't lift you anymore. And even if I could, what with the new job and taking care of the other three kids... Then when? Well, I was hoping you could come for a visit next weekend, but I <laughs> I think the car's going to need some more work before it makes another trip down here. I mean to live. When can you find a place where I can come home again? You mean I'm going to have to spend the rest of my life here? I don't know. Seventeen, just a couple years older than you are now. I, uh, I left my family and all my friends, and I moved all the way across the country by myself to California. I didn't know anybody there. <laughs> I was so lonely, I thought I would die. But I didn't. And I got used to a, a different kind of life, and after a while, it didn't seem so bad. Why'd you do it? Why'd you leave? To have you. <sighs> Don't worry about it, Mom. I'll be okay. Hey, in just a couple more weeks, you're going to come home for a weekend. That'll be good. I'm going to go get some milk to wash down those cookies. Hang in there, champ. Hey, you got company coming. This guy I met at the job interview. He works at this nursing home called Asperia House. I didn't get the job, but we might.